My name is Barujan Shafayan. I'm the head of creative uh, services in Sky News Arabia. Sky News Arabia is a company that emerged 12 years ago. We provide current news from the Arab world to the world, and we are covering worldwide. So we were early adopters of Zero Density when the company was like seven people long. It's been a long journey, very good partnership. The first engine was installed here in Amsterdam. So we had to travel here, check the production, see how it's going, and we found a solution for our answers. And since then, we've been a partner up with ZD. It's been paying off. We wanted to find solutions, efficient solutions to push our content presentation forth. An efficient way would have been growing in a virtual world instead of a physical world. It's inefficient to try to create set after set after set and dismantle them and then build another one. Whereas in virtual environments, you can do endless sets as long as you have the know-how to do it. In the beginning, it was a struggle to get integrated with the support of the ZD team and the great partnership that they have provided. We've been pushing boundaries a lot. 60% of our production and shows are based on either AR or VR sets. So we found a solution in the virtual world. The benefits and the objectives for us as users of this uh, technology is threefold. First of all is the efficiency because it opens up a lot of potential for you. It opens up a creative ground. If you're thinking about ROI, I know with the creatives, we don't tend to think about that, but it's really important to think about it from the entity's perspective because they need to invest an amount on a long term that with it, the revenue is very high. The emotional connection of our audiences to our content while maintaining our core business, which is the narrative itself, the, the current news. As you mature as a designer or animator or a set designer, you understand that your job is to enhance the current news, not overshadow it. You can flash it as much as you want, but the sparkle dies if your content is not up to par. Our aim now is to go hyper-realistic and try to create that confusion with the viewer that if, is this real or not? because the set is not the main dish that I'm presenting. The set is just complementing the content that we have. Last few years, photorealism took a quantum leap. At this point, we have sets on air that our audiences cannot differentiate between the physical sets and the virtual sets. Our aim is to present something that does not distract the viewer from the content itself. One of the main reasons we actually use Zero Density is because of Reality Hub, other than their key, of course. Reality Hub has, has evolved a lot. We found a lot of suppliers, but none of their front end was ergonomic and user-friendly as Reality Hub. The pipeline that was promised, the sprints that were promised and delivered, it was really interesting to see how it came to fruition. It makes your life easier and God knows we need that help. I don't consider Zero Density as suppliers. Uh, I, uh, I see them as partners in what we do. Starting from early on, we voiced our concerns when it comes to the software, when it comes to the hardware that we were using, and they were hands-on with us. So we have open channel communication with them and they're very quick to respond. I wouldn't say we had technical issues, but anything that arises, they were like on it in a matter of, I would say, hours. The workflow that Zero Density provides with us in Scandinavia Arabia being a current news channel, it made daily virtual productions feasible, which was unthought of. Usually it used to take two to three days to try to come up with something, and by that time news is overrated, it's gone. Imagine now we can create daily virtual stories we have live virtual sets, we have live virtual news with virtual elements coming in and out when we're talking about uh, maps, when we're talking about military equipment. That's the main cause of using virtual, that you can't reach there or you can't attain that. It's been quite helpful, especially on the daily and time-saving as well.